Yo, what's up guys, Andy here back with another video. Today, we are going over my investing portfolio. For January 2021, I'm gonna show you everything that I have in my portfolio. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a simple breakdown. There's five items here. I'm not gonna go super in depth on what I have in my portfolio. This is just kind of an overall breakdown. I just decided to do percentages. At first I was like, man, people are gonna know how much money I have invested. Maybe I don't want that, but you're not gonna be able to know. I have tons of other apps and places where I'm holding these investments that I don't show on any of my YouTube channels. So, so I'm guessing that nobody should have any idea of how much I actually have invested. But first item here, Bitcoin, 34% of my portfolio. Huge believer in Bitcoin. If you guys want to learn more about Bitcoin, definitely just check out the other videos on my channel. You know, I'm posting one every single Friday where I buy $1 Bitcoin on Cash App. Been doing that for 718 days. And if you just search Bitcoin right here, tons of other stuff and information will come up about Bitcoin. So that's the biggest. Let's go to the second item here on the list. Pokemon cards, 31%. So remember, these are estimates. It's hard to actually calculate exactly how much I have of these, especially when the markets are always fluctuating up and down. So I never intended to have 31% of my investing portfolio be Pokemon cards, but it happened. You know, I started getting into collecting, I saw the markets. Eventually I just started buying and learning every aspect of this hobby, it's fascinating. And it just happened. I just wanted to add another little blurb about Pokemon cards. What happens is that people have these things in their closet or their basement or whatever for 20 years. They don't know what they are. They don't know what they're selling. So they list an entire collection on eBay or some marketplace, or they list a card on eBay or some marketplace. And it's like 50% off or 90% off. And you just click buy, keep accumulating this. You sell some at higher and it just builds. So I highly recommend everyone learn a collectibles market whether that's comics or sports cards or video games whatever you're interested in because you can buy stuff at crazy cheap prices and flip it and gain a lot of money to add to your other investments that way so this year i'm going to try to sell quite a bit of pokemon cards and move into some of these other investments or try some new things to balance out my portfolio a little bit if you want to learn more about pokemon cards you know you can come to my channel search pokemon and then it's gonna have all of this stuff come up. Yeah, I'll show some of my cards on here. Um, here was my collection one year ago. My first ever PSA grading submission. So this will give you a good idea of some of the stuff that I have. No, I just have way more now. Somehow I just keep accumulating it, it's crazy. Next item on the list, people would think I'm an absolute maniac if they saw this investment portfolio. Altcoins, 27%. So the, this is any token that's not Bitcoin. I think if you're investing in cryptocurrencies, you should definitely have over 50% of your portfolio be Bitcoin. It's just the best way to stabilize your portfolio and make sure you're not gonna get wrecked. And Bitcoin drives the prices for a lot of the market. As you can see um, in this video right here, if you wanna learn more about it, just go to this video or search it. I also share some of the altcoins that I'm in. Um, like this will have some of them, but all coins are risky. They fluctuate a lot, but they have huge upside potential. So I'm in them. Um, definitely be careful with altcoins. Number one way to lose money. And they're usually not a long term hold type of thing. It's usually you hold on to them when the market is hot and then you sell them at the end of the cycle. Um, yeah. <laughs> so altcoins, very risky. Careful there. Fourth item on my list, which I don't even know much about, mutual funds. This is something I started probably like 10 years ago. I put money in this mutual fund. I don't have a good understanding of mutual funds. And then I stopped putting money in it, but it still continued to grow. I don't know if that money would be better somewhere else or if I should keep it in here. I just kind of kept it in there as a safety thing. So yeah, I have a mutual fund and it's 5% of my portfolio. I don't understand it. I usually don't recommend investing in things that you don't understand, but I already did it way back just because people told me to, and it's there. Last item on the list, stocks, 3% of my portfolio. This is the big one that I wanna grow this year just to make my portfolio more safe, more steady. You know, I'd like to get this to at least 10%. Um, I don't wanna sell my Bitcoin. You know, I definitely 
trade some Pokemon cards to get some money for stocks. If you want to learn more about my stock investing and what I'm interested in, definitely check out my other channel called Andy Path. Um, I try to do updates as often as I can for investing in stocks. It's similar to my buying $1 Bitcoin every day experiment if you're into that. But yeah, that's that's my portfolio right now. It'll probably change a lot throughout the year. There's always something to continue to learn. I'm always excited about investing in new things, trying new things. So, so let me know what you guys are into down in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Don't lay your problems on the path.